Hello everyone, I am Vikram T. Madhavi here. Welcome to JS Soft Tech. And this is a continuation of my session on SAP ERP, that's SAP ECC migration to SAP S4 HANA. So here we are considering the SAP S4 HANA migration and uh, there are multiple scenarios. Uh, we are discussing about uh, three ways in which, which we can achieve the trans tra transition from our existing uh, system to SAP S4 HANA environment. So in this like when we are deploying the SAP S4 HANA software, uh, we can migrate selected data from our legacy system by the way that legacy system could be an sap r3 or erp system or any third party system if it is an sap erp system then you could transition from sap s4 hana on premise uh, using uh, conversion scenarios but uh, you can you have decided not to then in that case we have like scenarios wherein we have the new system implementation scenario supports two distinct targets the sap s4 hana lack of any suffix indicates on premise and sap s4 hana cloud so we have two two uh, transitions can transition can be to sap s4 hana on premise or to sap s4 hana cloud it the transition can either take place from any other erp system or from non sap system and this is a new implementation and the second scenario is a, a, a system conversion from erp system to uh, the sap s4 hana on premise or the system landscape transformation from any erp system to sap s4 hana now we are talking about the first we are talking about the new implementation or the re-implementation in which we standardize and simplify the existing landscape to reduce TCO and use latest innovations. Now in this session, in the context of uh, this scenario, we focus on migration of business data and not system data, like for example, configuration. So the new system implementation scenario supports two distinct targets. One is SAP S4 HANA and SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Now, from the new implementation scenario, the first scenario which we are talking about, and this like we have uh, uh, broadly the data in in our current environment can be classified into a couple of buckets like good quality data which must be migrated to the new transactional system good quality data which should be retained for analytical and or editing auditing requirements poor quality data which must be migrated to the new transactional data system poor quality data which should be retained for analytical or auditing requirements and data which is no longer required so here we are focusing on data which must be migrated to the new SAP S4 HANA transactional system represented, represented by the bucket one and, and the, the third bucket that is good quality data which must be migrated to the new transactional system and poor quality data which must be migrated to the new transactional system. And in the case of good quality data which sh should be retained for the analytical or auditing requirements and poor data which need not be required for that we can ignore that particular data use of corporate memory concept with analytical capabilities of sap s4 hana and a bw on hana combined with data management and tiring capabilities like uh, data tiring optimization native storage extension near line storage dynamic tiring and integration with hadoop or other repositories so use of sap information lifecycle management that's popularly called as ilm and the retention warehouse refer to our uh, latest innovations so in essence 
in essence we have the op various options so these are the options that we have the sap r3 system or sap any other erp system or any 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 non non sap erp system as well from that source we are moving to either sap s4 hana on premise or sap s4 hana cloud so if you are moving from sap s4 hana uh, if you are moving to sap s4 hana on premise we have sap data services sap ds sap information steward sap rapid data migration content SAP S4 HANA Migration Cockpit with SAP S4 HANA Migration Object Modeler. Then if it's a cloud based, we have SAP S4 HANA Migration Cockpit. Then we have SAP S4 HANA Cloud Private Option. Usage of Migration Object Modeler is also available. Now this, this is the SAP S4 HANA Migration Cockpit. Now, in this, the LSMW, the legacy system migration workbench, workbench function is still available in SAP S4 HANA. That's an on-premise edition, but not considered as a migration tool. So LSMW might pro propose incorrect migration interfaces that cannot be used in SAP S4 HANA. So LSMW should only be considered as a migration tool for SAP S4 HANA for objects that do not have interfaces or content available for for carefully testing for each and every object. So the use of LSMW for data load to SAP S4 HANA is not recommended at, at the customer's own risk. And LSMW, um, we, we are going to discuss more in detail about the LSMW concept in the coming next session. So in the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit, uh, we have uh, a, a basic introduction about the tools and its capabilities. So SAP S4 HANA Migration Cockpit is a new migration tool that is shipped exclusively with SAP S4 HANA. It was initially available for Cloud Edition, but since SAP S4 HANA 1610, it is also shipped with the On-Premise Edition. So it is accompanied by Migration Object Modeler, referred to as uh, MOM hereafter. So that's Migration Object Modeler, which is design tool for enhancements and modifications of predefined migration objects we will we'll get back to it uh, in the in the coming sessions so since both of these tools are new let's elaborate a bit on their structure and capabilities to give you a, a better idea so the migration cockpit popularly called as mc is delivered with standard deployment of sap s4 hana and no additional add-ons or special UI activation uh, uh, in, is required. An upgrade or and converted to SAP S4 HANA 1610 or higher. It can be launched using manage your solution launch pad in case of the cloud edition or using the TX LTMC in case of uh, on-premise. The migration cockpit itself has a browser based that's kind of a web time pro interface there are there are following concepts employed within the migration cockpit so migration object this is the migration object migration are defined and delivered by sap and described how to migrate data from so system which is tables the third party tools or the or the erp tables to sap s4 hana the custom migration objects are not yet supported, but on the roadmap, we can refer to the migration objects modeler, modeling further and we can understand about that customized objects, how to move the customized objects in the coming session. So migration project, migration uh, projects are used to facilitate the transfer of data from a source system to SAP S4 HANA. And you can use migration of project to specify the source system and the data that you want to direct transfer and to monitor the status of the migration so the migration project provides what is based described as organizational layer it allows for grouping of the migration activities to suit project needs examples of a criteria used to define separate projects examples only can be combined so source systems 
company organizational structure, languages, phases of deployment, etc. Now the migration project has a transfer ID associated with it. So the concept taken from system landscape transformation capabilities. The transfer ID acts as a unique identifier per project in order to facilitate transfer of uh, pro project specific settings including the value mapping between the environments in the landscape. For example, between the quality and uh, production systems which is performed using the import and export parameters um, content functions and not using change and transport system. So once migration project has been created, you can choose which migration objects will be utilized within the project. On the project's overview screen, all available objects are presented with the following information. So the object name, progress, that this is this at the start shows 0%. If the value is higher, it is an indication that the particular object has been copied to the project's specific repository and potentially other activities have been started. Documentation linked to object specific documentation. And then we have the dependent migration objects as well. So we have in the process, we have the single point entry, guided procedure, data selection, data transformation, monitoring, logs and documentation. And at the content level, we have the pre-configured migration objects and mapping, generation of migration programs, data validation, integration of custom objects. So the changes to object templates do not affect migration objects within existing projects. Only newly created migration objects based on updated template will inherit changes in the new version of the template. So changes to migration objects within existing projects do not affect the object template. So access migration, object documentation, download templates, upload file. So the template above file filled with uh, fill the data from your legacy system. You can upload several files at the same time which allows you to control scope of migration on the file level. This action will load the data from files without any transformations to staging area within SAP s system. Tables happen to be the DMC and underscore file underscore HDR and DMC underscore file underscore T and DMC underscore file underscore store. So basically you can view and edit this data so you can uh, up, you can view data uploaded to staging area and in case of on-premise edition you can also directly edit the uploaded data this changes values stored in the staging area so activate or deactivate file so only files in active state can be taken to the next stage that is initiating the transfer process this allows you to work with multiple files and choose scope of migration every time you initiate the transfer. So you can start the transfer. So this will initiate start the transfer will initiate the guided process for transfer of data from selected files. There are following stages of uh, transfer process: data validation, value conversion, import si simulation, and import execution. So in the data validation, data stored in the staging area is subject to technical validation for issues like lack of data in the mandatory fields and wrong data length or type, lack of mapping of some key master configuration data like country codes or units or measures, etc. So value conversion, you can define mapping rules to convert input values where validation encountered and encountered an error. So import simulation, import simulation. Uh, in this step, the data stored in staging area is processed using actual BAPIs, which are using used during real run of import. The only difference is that the changes are not committed to the database. This allows for much deeper validation 
functional validation of interdependencies like uh, existence of material master in the case of purchase or uh, purchase or sales order so import execution this is the import execution which happens here into the system so the data in the staging area is submitted for posting in the sap s4 hana system using the relevant BAPIs, that's business application programming interface those are apis like application program interfaces successfully imported records are persisted in the database it is important to understand that apis used to post data to the target sap s4 hana system only supports insert actions in other words there are no absurd or update action supported thus any data already loaded to the target system cannot be reloaded similarly if particular data file has been partially successful you should filter only failed records for subsequent rerun to avoid errors associated with the attempts to create duplicate records so for this for those which are successful during the first run and to summarize this entire process uh, it is available for both cloud and, and the data, data migration cockpit is available for cloud and on-premise on-premise from 1610 version but may vary in the some compatibilities it is built for built into the sap s4 hana system and does not require any additional deployments for the configurations and it uses flat files to load legacy data but there is a plan to provide capability to extract data from ABAP based SAP source systems directly as well. Support Supported migration objects are defined by SAP and at present can only be enhanced using the MOM. Creation of new custom objects is planned and we can refer to the details in the MOM. And uh, this is about the basic overview of the data migration process. So this migration object modeler is a tool delivered in on-premise edition only and can be seen as a design time tool or definition of the data migration objects. From here, I'll continue the migration process in the part three of the uh, SAP S4 HANA migration. And these are the steps which every one of us, irrespective of which module you're working in, we must all know this process of migration because every project in SAP should sooner or later shift to SAP S4 HANA platform and um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe at youtube.com slash jsoftech and you can contact us at training at jsoftech.com if at all if you are looking out for new trainings and if you are looking out for jobs you can send your resume to jobs at jsoftech.com thank you have a great day